Good morning and happy new week and shall I say compliments of the season. In another one week from now, it's going to be Christmas and we want to thank God for his faithfulness upon our lives and for his uh, mercies that we keep enjoying. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for of your mercies were not consumed for your compassions never fail. Your love is new every morning and great is your faithfulness. want to thank you for your goodness unto us. Lord, as we pray again on the breakfast this morning, we desire that your spirit will inspire us to pray and that we shall pray in line with your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This for us is harvest season. This week is our week of harvest uh, and this season is our season of harvest. Amen. Okay, so what does the word harvest mean? It means to gather in crops, to gather in agricultural produce at the end of his planting season. So a harvest is symbolic of a season, a season of ingathering, a season of bringing in. And may you have things to bring in for good even this week and this season in the name of Jesus. When you hear harvest, it's talking about an accumulated store, you know, a productive effort, a yield. So every effort that we have put in from the beginning of the year up till now, may you have positive yield in the name of Jesus. Now for every seed sown, expect a harvest. We're going to read a few scriptures and then we'll start praying. Genesis 8 and 22. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. So the harvest is included. It shall not cease. And who was speaking here? Elohim, the eternal God, our Father, was the one speaking here. Leviticus 19 and verse 9. And when you reap the harvest of your land, my emphasis is, is on the harvest of your land. Every land has a harvest, including your land. When you reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field, and so on. But my emphasis is on the harvest of your land. May your land bring forth in the name of Jesus. Leviticus 23 and verse 10. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, when ye be come into the land, not if, when, because it was certain, when ye be come into the land which I give unto you and shall reap the harvest thereof. When? When? Not if. So it's certain that a harvest is coming. Then shall ye bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. Every man has a promise of your harvest. It is personal to you. It is specific to you. It is individual to you. Your harvest. Next scripture, Ecclesiastes 11 and verse 6. In the morning sow your seed, and in the evening do not withhold your hand, for you do not know how which will prosper, either this or that, or whether both alike will be good. So when your seed prospers, it brings a harvest. May your seed prosper in the name of Jesus. May every seed you've sown prosper in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 9 and 3. That has multiplied the nation and not increased the joy. The joy before thee according to the joy in harvest. And as men rejoice when they divide the spoil, there is a joy that is associated with harvest. May that be your experience at this time in the name of Jesus. Joel 3.13. Put ye in the sequel for the harvest is ripe. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down, for the price is full, the vats overflow. This is the season of your overflow. This is the season of your ingathering. Your stores will not be empty at this time, in the name of Jesus. Mark 4, 28. For the earth bringeth forth a fruit of herself, first the blade, then the air, and after that the full corn in the air. Up to verse 29. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put it in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Your harvest is come. I need you to say that to yourself. My harvest is come. And lastly, Luke's Gospel, chapter 10 and verse 2. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore, the Lord of a harvest. My emphasis is on the Lord of a harvest. So our God is the God of a harvest. Our King is the King of a harvest. And he guarantees our harvest for us in the name of Jesus. Come and begin to pray. Let's give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercies endure forever. Father, we give you thanks for you are good and your mercies endure forever. We join the host of heaven to say you are good and your mercies endure forever. For we are the, we are the evidences of your goodness. We want to thank you for your goodness unto us in spite of all the challenges, in spite of all the turmoils, in spite of all the hardships. You have been good and your mercies endure forever over our lives. We say thank you, Habba Father, in the name of 
Jesus. I want us to give thanks unto the Lord for the salvation of our souls. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the salvation of our souls. We are called by your name. We are your children. We are partakers of the covenant of grace. Uh, we exalt you and we give you praise uh, in the name of Jesus. For the gift of access unto our Father. Let's appreciate the Lord. Father, for the gift of access unto you, we appreciate you. We thank you because uh, we are not far away from you. We are partakers of a covenant uh, of, of, of promises, the covenant of your glory, the covenant of your greatness. We are partakers of a covenant of dominion. Lord, we've been drawn nigh by the blood of Jesus, your son. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. We, we thank you because we can come boldly onto the great throne of grace and obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. What a good father you are. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for our rising up and our lying down. Let's give him praise for our going out and our coming in. Let's thank him. Father, for our going out, for our coming in, for our rising every day, for our lying down every day, we give you thanks, we give you praise for food to eat, for clothes to wear, for sound mind, for sound health, for healings and deliverances. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate him because our heavens are not brass, our earth is not iron. Lord, we want to thank you because the heavens over us is not brass, our earth is not iron. We exalt you for answered prayers. We want to thank you for answered prayers. When we call upon your name, you answer us. You are good. Take all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord for the guarantee of our harvest because the harvest is in his plan. Lord, we want to thank you for the guarantee of our harvest for we know that the harvest is in your plan. You are the God of the harvest. We thank you for including us in your plan. We give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Decree that this week is your week of harvest. Decree that this season is your season of harvest. The Bible says the righteous man shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto him. We decree that this week is our week of harvest. We decree that this season is our season of harvest. In the name of Jesus. So the blessing of harvest I release upon this week. The blessing of harvest I decree upon this season in every life, in over every life, over every endeavor, over every business and career, over every pursuit in the name of Jesus, over every project. We decree the blessing of harvest. We decree the power of harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive wisdom unto your harvest. Even for this month, for this week, for this season, I receive your wisdom. I ask for your wisdom. The word of the Lord says, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God and God who gives liberally to all and obedient not shall give unto him. Lord, I ask for your wisdom at this time, your wisdom into my harvest that I will understand my place, my own harvest in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to lead you to your fields, your ripe fields, your fields that are ripe for the harvest, that the Lord shall lead you to your own fields. Lord, lead me to my ripe fields, my ripe fields, my fields that are ripe unto harvest. Lord, by your spirit, lead me there in the name of Jesus. Lord, lead me to my own field, to my own place in the name of Jesus. Now receive the help of the Lord and the strength of the Lord to bring in your harvest in the name of Jesus. I ask for your help. I ask for your strength as I bring in my harvest this week in the name of Jesus. So put your sickle into the harvest and bring in your harvest in the name of Jesus. By faith, I put in the sickle and I command my harvest to come in in the name of Jesus. I put in the sickle and I bring in the harvest in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you bring in your harvest of joy? Can you bring in your harvest of peace? Can you bring in your harvest of favor? Lord, by faith, I put in the sickle and I bring in my harvest of joy. I put in the sickle and I bring in my harvest of peace. I put in the sickle and I bring in my harvest of victory after victory, joy after joy, peace after peace. I put in the sickle and I bring in the harvest in the name of Jesus. Can you put in the sickle and bring in the harvest of your deliverance, the harvest of your abundance, the harvest of your glory, of your manifestations. Let there be harvest of manifestations, harvest of deliverance, harvest of abundance in the name of Jesus, harvest of wisdom in the name of Jesus, harvest of satisfaction and gladness and joy and cheerful feasts in the name of Jesus. Lord, let this season mark us for cheerful feasts, for joy, for satisfaction in the name of Jesus. The Bible talks about the joy of the harvest. Believe a lot for the joy of harvest to be your lot and your portion at this time in the name of Jesus. Let the joy of the harvest be the reality of every man, of every woman, of every family represented on the broadcast praying at this time. Let the joy of harvest be our reality. Let the joy of harvest be our experience in the name of Jesus. Decree the harvest of the Lord to every endeavor, every endeavor, over every seed you've sown from beginning of year up till now. Believe the Lord and decree the harvest.
us in the name of Jesus concerning every seed we have sown from the beginning of this year up till now I decree the harvest now in the name of Jesus for every seed oh God financial in nature every seed of the thoughts every seed of labor every seed oh God of, of, of dissipation of, of strength or, or effort in any area let the harvest begin to run in the name of Jesus let the harvest begin to roll in believe Lord for overflowing bands even this week and this season I believe you for overflowing bands even this week and this season my bands will not be empty my bands will not be dry my land is rich and full and the blessing of the Lord is upon my land thank you Father for it is our season of harvest and we will continually rejoice because of your faithfulness in Jesus name we pray Amen. Thank you for joining us to pray on the broadcast. Once again, Merry Christmas in advance. See you next Monday. Bye-bye.